Well, good afternoon and welcome everyone. Um, thank you for joining us for this momentous occasion. My name is Elizabeth Chilton. I'm the Provost and Executive Vice President for Washington State University System and the inaugural Chancellor of the WSU Pullman Campus here in Pullman, sorry, the flagship campus here in Pullman, and it's my honor to welcome you to uh, the event today. I would like to take a moment to acknowledge that WSU locations statewide are on the homelands of Native peoples. The Pullman campus itself is located on the traditional homelands of the Nimipu or Nez Perce people and the Palouse. On behalf of the university, I would like to express our deepest respect for and gratitude towards these original and current caretakers of the region. We are gathered today to celebrate a successful partnership that has spanned more than a century between Washington State University and the Boeing Company. The long-standing connection between WSU and Boeing has truly pushed our institution to new heights through partnerships in groundbreaking academic research, scholarly collaborations, and perhaps most importantly, student support. As we consider the values of Boeing and WSU's land-grant mission, it's apparent why this relationship has been so fruitful. We both hold a strong commitment to serve the public good, both locally and around the world. And today, we have the great honor to hear from leaders from both of our organizations, including Kirk Schultz, WSU System President, Bill McSherry, Vice President of State and Local Government Operations for the Boeing Company, Craig Bombin, Vice President of Flight Operations and Chief Test Pilot for the Boeing Company and Executive Focal to WSU, and Dean Mary Rizak, Dean of WSU's Voilin College of Engineering and Architecture. To help us celebrate this historic new chapter in WSU Boeing partnership, please welcome WSU System President Kirk Schultz to the podium. Well, good afternoon, and it's great to see so many people out on a Thursday game day on campus. And I know all our faculty and staff love it when we have Thursday football games here. So uh, looking forward to a, a great time tonight with alumni back in town. Uh, University of Utah here should be a great environment. And, uh, and it's always fun to kind of start the day, if you will, or start the celebratory nature of a home football game, really by announcing a major commitment and investment and WSU Engineering from the Boeing Company. I think as we look towards our future, philanthropic partnerships are gonna be part of what we would like to do as an institution. Our institutional vision for what we wanna do, the facilities, the, the things that we need for our faculty, staff, and students to succeed, uh, the state of Washington is very generous, but it's gonna take that extra amount on top that allows us to really achieve these particular goals. So today we get to celebrate one of the longest partnerships that we have between a corporation and Washington State University. Now, Bill and I were talking, uh, we've got three different numbers about how long this has been. One was a century, his was different, mine was a third. So if you're counting out there, it's been really long, decades long, let's just put it like that. And uh, we really want to continue to uh, work with the Boeing company moving forward on lots of exciting things. You know, you tend to think sometimes corporate partnerships are really focused around, are we producing graduates that are hired? And of course we're doing that and we have for a long time. But we also do strategic research together and partnerships, and Boeing has been here to help us with many things. And we're approaching $30 million in total investment from the Boeing Company in Washington State University. And I think that deserves a round of applause. <laughs> I also want to make sure I thank these uh, folks up on the stage and all of our colleagues from Boeing that are here with us today. Uh, we had a conversation some time ago about making a, an investment in this new engineering facility. And uh, that first meeting, let's just say, we weren't sure we would ever be here today. We, we knew we had lots of opportunities. Uh, Boeing had traditionally not funded a lot of bricks and mortar projects, but I really appreciate our leads inside the Boeing company took their time to come to work it, uh, get information from us, and, and I certainly want to acknowledge Alex Peach, our Director of, Executive Director of Corporate Relations. Alex, please wave your hand. Thank you for all your work on our behalf. 
So we're here to celebrate a gift to the College of Engineering today, the Boylan College of Engineering and Architecture. Don't let me forget the architects. But the Boeing Company does more than just uh, work with their engineering college. They also work with the Carson College of Business, Connors, College of Arts and Sciences, Pharmacy and Pharmaceutical Sciences, Education, and many more. And this philanthropic support and investment in WSU has been through endowed professorships, fellowships, internships, scholarships for our students, learning centers, and countless other programs over the years. And the way I define a philanthropic partner is somebody that you sit down with and you come up with mutual goals on how you're going to do things together. And when you look at this this list of different units across the WSU system, when you look at the different colleges and academic units that Boeing has worked with, those are a result of continuing conversations that partners have about ways to advance together. So this afternoon, I'm really pleased to announce our, our newest uh, major investment from the Boeing company. Where Boeing is investing $5 million to Washington State University in support of the Voilin College of Engineering and Architecture's Schweitzer Engineering Hall. A big round of applause, please, on that. So to honor this investment in our students, faculty, and staff, and our, our future Cougar engineers and architects, uh, in the soon to be constructed facility, and Mary would like it a lot sooner, but over the next couple years as we started, we're gonna establish the Boeing Center for Student Success. And if we look at a lot of the investments Boeing has made in Washington State University, student success has been an integral part of almost all of those different initiatives, whether it's supporting our faculty that have a great relationship with our students, those internships, scholarships, learning centers, uh, scholarships supporting our diversity, equity, and inclusive excellence work, whatever it is, I think they've been there for that. So in addition to several of the other people I mentioned, let me just call out directly Bill McSherry and Craig Bombin joining us this afternoon. I'd also like to acknowledge Stan Deal, who cannot be with us today, as President, Chief Executive Officer of Boeing Commercial Airplanes. Um, he goes by Z, the Executive Vice President of Government Relations, who is in Washington, D.C., and we had a very early meeting with him talking about uh, why we thought a strategic investment in Washington State made great sense for the Boeing company. And uh, it's been this team of Boeing folks, a team of WSU folks, and here today just so thrilled to celebrate another major investment in Washington State University. So with that, how about a go Cougs on three, one, two, three. Go Cougs! It's my honor to welcome Bill McSherry, Vice President for State and Local Government Relations for the Boeing Company, to the podium. Welcome, Bill. Well, thank you, President Schultz. And, you know, we are uh, here celebrating uh, this partnership with the Engineering and Architecture College, uh, but you're right, it does, our partnership spans all over um, uh, the, the most academic disciplines. Our uh, old CEO, Ray Connor, whom Craig and I uh, both knew really well, said you can do just about anything you want at the Boeing Company from a career standpoint, and that is certainly true, and, uh, and our partnership with uh, Washington State University certainly uh, illustrates that fact really well. Uh, first of all, let me uh, say I see the Schweitzer Engineering Labs team here. Thank you for your uh, leadership gift. We wouldn't be here, right, if you guys hadn't uh, stepped out and led on behalf of all the corporations in our state. So thank you guys very much. Boeing has been a part of Washington State for 116 years since our founding uh, in, in Lake Union. That's where the 116 comes from. Uh, and yeah, I say we've been partnering uh, with the Washington State University for the majority of that time, I think, is what I uh, what I have in our uh, in my notes. For us, uh, engineering excellence and education are are really core values of our company. It's what has let our company uh, be a leader in uh, the global aerospace industry for 116 years. They are certainly values that we know we share uh, with Washington State uh, University. WSU and Boeing share a rich history too, not only through Boeing financial contributions, uh, but also through a variety of academic research and service initiatives. For over 14, excuse me, for over 15 years, the Boeing Scholars Program has brought together interdisciplinary teams of WSU students to tackle real world problems uh, and to be mentored by Boeing technical leaders. 
The recently formed Boeing supported Cougars and Tigers Together program is a uh, is another interdisciplinary program, a joint program between WSU Everett uh, and Clemson University in South Carolina that again puts teams uh, this time across universities uh, together to solve real world problems. Last year in the first project, we asked them to tackle uh, what was a very timely project at the time, cabin disinfection uh, during, uh, you know, sort of, certainly during the pandemic. Uh, and they came up with a really innovative and exceptionally cool UV robot that disinfected the cabin as it went up and down the aisle uh, in an autonomous fashion. It was really uh, incredible. Uh, because we both know education is fundamental to improving one's quality of life, we are also proud to partner with you to increase access to uh, all students to higher education. Recently, Boeing donated $100,000 to Washington State University programs supporting first-generation students. The money goes to expanding the services these students will receive on campus, will give the university more resources to better meet the unique needs of this very important group of students. We're also proud to be a founding partner of the Washington State Opportunity Scholarship, a program that was founded in 2011 with Boeing and Microsoft jointly pledging $25 million each uh, with money that was matched by funds from the state of Washington to fund scholarships for low and middle income students in trade, STEM, uh, and healthcare fields that we know are valued in the workplace. Uh, it's a vital partner in helping these students achieve, pursue, excuse me, pursue uh, and achieve these dreams, and we know hundreds of WSU students are pursuing those dreams through the Opportunity Scholarship Program uh, here today. Last year, we made an additional $5 million investment uh, in that program uh, to continue to help those students pursue the dreams uh, that we all know they have. These are just a few recent examples of the frankly invaluable work that is going on here on campus that we're proud uh, to partner with. Honestly, I can think of no better story to illustrate the benefit of higher education investment in our state uh, than the story of this company's 116 year history, starting on the banks of Lake Union and growing into the global aerospace leader of which Craig and I and 150,000 employees around the world are exceptionally proud to be a part of. Through this latest gift, we're, held, we're thrilled to be able to contribute to the education of up and coming engineers. While we hope many of them will someday join Team Boeing, we know that the new engineering facility will ensure they have the tools they need to be successful in whatever endeavor they choose. We're excited students will be able to learn in the most modern engineering and design facilities because doing so will prepare them for the exciting future we have ahead of us as a company uh, and as a state. The Boeing Center for Student Success will pave the way for all students to participate in that future. At Boeing, we've paved the way as, in, as innovators revolution air travel many times during the history of this great company. And while we have navigated some of the most challenging times in our history over the last few years, we know our best days are still ahead. Air travel is increasing. We estimate that airlines around the world will need over 41,000 new airplanes over the next 20 years. A very large portion of those airplanes will be designed, built, and delivered right here in Washington, the home of Boeing commercial airplanes. We're innovating for the future to ensure we continue to lead the world of commercial aviation. We recently celebrated the grand opening of our Boeing additive manufacturing facility in Auburn, and we continue to develop new models of airplanes right here in Washington State, including the 737-7, 737-10, 777-8, 777-9, and the recently launched 777-8 freighter. We know current and future WSU students will have a hand in bringing these innovations as well as yet to be developed technologies from concept to reality. The Boeing Center for Student Success will help pave the way for that, and we couldn't be more excited to partner with you on this latest demonstration of the commitment to a better future that I know both of our institutions share. Let me just say before I introduce Craig, uh, you know, it has been a remarkable thrill for us uh, as a company to uh, figure out a way uh, to fund this. You know, as, as, I, as I alluded in my remarks, uh, the last few years have been difficult for everybody, uh, certainly through the pandemic. Uh, commercial air travel was among the worst hit industries uh, in the world during that time. I think we went from about 100% of 2019 levels in early 20. 
uh, 20 from a passenger standpoint to about 5% for much of that year. Uh, and when your customers uh, are not flying folks, they are not buying uh, airplanes. So uh, to do that, I think during, frankly, the most challenging time our industry has faced, perhaps in its history, uh, is a testament not only to how much a lot of Boeing folks care about this institution, uh, but the quality of work that you all do. We couldn't be happier and prouder to be a part of it. So thank you all. And now, and now I am thrilled to introduce my friend and colleague, uh, Craig Bombin. Craig is our VP for uh, Enterprise Flight Test and Chief Pilot for uh, the company. He's a proud Coug, uh, and he leads a team of best in world folks who are in charge of all of our developmental and production flight tests uh, for every aircraft we make in both the commercial uh, and defense units. Craig Bombin. Our test pilots are engineers, by the way. And I do have 150 engineers working for me in India and across the country. So it's great to see everybody here. There's some really familiar faces. And, and I'll just tell you, uh, Bill alluded to the fact that we've been through a tough you know, couple years. And it's just been a really uh, challenging environment for aerospace. And so when Mary and Kirk and, and Alex came to me and proposed that uh, they needed $5 million from the Boeing company, the first thing I thought is there's no way that's going to happen. <laughs> there is no way. I mean, we're in a tough financial situation. So Bill and I schemed together. We figured out our best strategy. We got our allies within the company. We luckily, with the help of Mary, had some good stories to tell about all the good money that's being spent uh, from Boeing to Washington State University and the good effects that it's having on the students. So we got the allies we needed, and, and sure enough, thinking I'd maybe get a million dollars, we ended up getting the five. So it was a it was a great deal, and something that I'm I'm extremely proud to be standing up here saying that we're going to fund at that level because the partnership between Boeing and Washington State University is strategic, important, and long lasting. Uh, I can't be prouder of the fact that I'm a, a Coug, go Cougs, and, uh, and the fact that with Boeing, we have such a tight relationship with this university. Uh, I was involved in, uh, with Mary from day one. I was actually on the hiring committee when we brought her in, and I can tell you the transformation I've seen in the engineering uh, discipline at this school under her leadership has been amazing. I mean, the diversity and inclusion that you've seen from the student populations, the retention you've seen, it, the numbers are going in the right direction. And so for me, when I look at what the university is doing and I've got to go justify funding, I have good stories I can take forward and I can prove that the money that Boeing is investing is money that's going to be well spent. Uh, I think... You know, I'm extremely excited about the fact that we're actually focusing our money on, on stuff that's going to help students be successful. And it's one thing, you know, how many people back, I remember when I, I was a double E, graduated in 95 or 85, when, uh, <laughs> I'm older than that. Anyways, when I, when I got here, you know, everybody in my fraternity was an engineer the first year. And, you know, after six months, there wasn't as many engineers because they got in there and they saw how hard it was. And so it's one thing to get the engineers in the front door. And once they get in the front door and get excited about it, you've got to do the right thing from a, from a school perspective to retain them, give them, the, give them the tools they need to succeed. And we're doing that. And we're going to continue to fund those programs and make sure that we produce the uh, engineers we need. Uh, I know you guys think Boeing is an aerospace company which it is, but we think of ourselves as a technology company. And, and we need strong engineers. We need the proper trained engineers to come in and help us develop the best products in the world. We're, we're developing spaceships right now. We're developing unmanned vehicles. We're developing great airplanes. Uh, and, and we really need the next level of engineering to help us get to where we want. We're, we're right now focusing on the next generation airplane I was out in Atlanta last week talking at what's called the Human Factor and Ergonomic Society, and the focus was on human factors. And if, if, I've, if I've learned anything in the last three years, it's the importance of human factors. It's human factors in how we design the, the components to be installed. It's human factors on how we design the components to be maintained, and it's human factors on how we design the vehicles to be interfaced with the pilots and the operators. And so 
I, uh, I implore all the students that are here today to think about Boeing because you could come to Boeing and work there for 40 years and you could have a different job every other year. It's a great company. We're invested in our students, we're invested in our people and we're gonna do some great stuff going forward. So uh, I hope to be here when the building is put up and opened. It's gonna be a great day. This is just a start. Thank you, go Cougs. So good afternoon. Um, as Craig referenced, my name is Mary Rizek. I serve as the Dean of the Voilin College of Engineering and Architecture. And I am just thrilled to be here this afternoon to celebrate this incredible gift that the Boeing Company um, has, has honored us with today. Not only has Boeing helped to assure the construction of our student success building, this gift opens further opportunities for the continued modernization of the entire engineering and architecture precinct in our uh, campus and to assure that the learning and research environments that we have as a community continue to meet the needs of our students. Several Voiland College uh, students and faculty and staff are with us today. Um, would you just take a moment and stand to be recognized if you're a member of the Voiland community? You can do it. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you all. These, the, the students among there really represent some of the best and brightest students that we have in the campus and I would say um, in the college and I would say on the campus. Um, these students have benefited either directly or indirectly from the long-standing generous support of the Boeing Company. Um, you heard from Bill McSherry's comments, a number of the programs that Boeing is currently investing in and continues to invest in. I'm gonna talk about just a couple more. Um, so every year, for the last several years, the Boeing Company has provided financial support to ensure that our freshman engineering course really is meeting the needs of our students. Um, this is a course that's taken by every engineering student in the college, save just a couple, and we're working on them. Um, and it, it has really paved the way for, for improved student understanding of what it means to be a, an engineering student and an engineer in the future and to understand how to be successful as a WSU engineering student. Um, we've seen over the course of the last several years that first year retention rates for students in that program have increased more than 10%. And that's really because of the, the impact of the financial support of the Boeing Company, and it means that these really bright young men and women who have devoted themselves to this profession have a much higher probability of succeeding as students in this discipline and then ultimately going off to work for great companies like Boeing and others. Um, while many of the students that you see here have personal stories of how they've benefited, I'm going to share just one. And I want to highlight um, a, a young woman named um, Sarah Manow. And Sarah is the president of the WSU Society of Women in Engineering Student Club. Um, the SWE, uh, for short, has received financial support from Boeing, as well as the fact that Sarah personally has received financial support. She took part in in the Boeing mentoring program two years ago where she was paired with a mentor from Boeing and also provided opportunities for professional development along the way. Uh, two years later, two Boeing internships later, and two full years of support from her Boeing mentor, she will be starting her full-time career next summer with Boeing as a payloads design engineer in the Interiors Responsibility Center in South Carolina. And it's those types of really ingrained relationships that allow us to continue to help our students and hopefully meet some of the, the workforce needs of the Boeing Company and others. So thank you for that. For decades, Boeing has invested in WSU and has helped guide um, the thousands of students like Sarah through the challenging and often difficult journey towards success. 
Boeing understands that in order to continue to produce outstanding graduates, we need to invest in state-of-the-art facilities that are designed to meet the students of today and the workforce of tomorrow. And thanks to their gift today, tens of thousands of Washington State University students will continue to benefit in years to come. So thank you. At Voiland College, more than a third of our students are the first in their family to go to college. And more than a third of our students need financial assistance in order to pay the way through this program. And many of those students are gonna feel out of place during their early years away from home. Thanks to the Boeing gift, the Boeing Center for Student Success in Schweitzer Engineering Hall will now serve as a hub of activity where students can seek help, can explore ideas, and can make connections. Featuring tutoring and mentoring, advising and other student support programs placed all in one location, the Boeing Center will ensure Voiland College is better serving the needs of our students today and long into the future. I can't tell you how important Boeing's investments in our students have been and how excited we are to know that they will continue to play a pivotal role in Schweitzer Engineering Hall. Um, we are really fortunate today to have a few of our partners from Schweitzer Engineering Laboratories joining us, and I want to take just a moment to recognize them. Um, Chief Executive Officer Dave Whitehead joins us, as does Chief Financial Officer Joey Nesgard, the Senior Government Affairs Manager Chris Carlson, I'm here, and then finally Adina Bielenberg, the Senior Corporate Director to the President. So thank you for joining us and thank you for your support. With the combined support from Boeing, SEL, Ed and Beatrice Schweitzer, and dozens of other donors, Schweitzer Engineering Hall will serve as the cornerstone of WSU's plan to revitalize and modernize Pullman's engineering and design district, allowing the university to continue to meet the changing needs of our students and support engineering industries for decades to come. Um, we invite our Boeing sponsors and all of you to come back and join us when we break ground and then again when the buildings open to, to celebrate this continued relationship and the providing these opportunities for our students. So from all of our students, faculty and staff in the Voiland College of Engineering and Architecture, I want to say thank you to Craig personally for all that he has done and to Bill for his efforts as well and to the entire Boeing team for, for making this gift, for continuing to partner with us and allowing us to change the lives of these students. So thank you. So, and now I think you can join me in welcoming the WSU Marching Band. I believe. <laughs> or not. I think. Oh, oh, I hear them. Okay. Yes. It's a yes. It's a yes.